saw the light on the night that I danced by her window. Okay, okay. Don't leave me alone up here now, because I've only been here 30 years. So when I do, I saw the light on the night that I danced by her window. Everybody go, da 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 okay. I saw the light on the night that I danced by her window. Every time I have visitors coming to town, I say, listen, I don't care what we're going to do or where we're going to go to eat or whatever, but we've got to go see Sauce. I come back because I enjoy the, the type of stuff that she does, I like the music that she does, and I like the, the crowd that it brings, and that it's a diverse age range of people all coming for the same kind of good time. She loves that we sing out and sing with her, and that's what drives her the most. She's not there to sing for us. She's there to get us to sing. And it's, it's uh, catching. For whatever reason, it is catching. Once you get caught, you cannot resist. You come right back time after time. Song by Sylvia. From the blue sky, who I see. I was six years old when I started to study piano, and I remember a Glenn Miller Orchestra coming on late from the Newark Pomp and Turnpike, and I'd get up and dance by myself, you know, in the house. But all the while that I was at the University of Toronto, I was doing college shows musicals. And I kept doing that in Columbus at Ohio State. And this, um, they called him, in those days they called him personal manager. He saw me at a party playing and he wanted to know if I could think about show business. And I kind of had it in my mind. I wasn't sure I had the temperament for it. I thought I might have the talent for it. He arranged an audition in uh, Cincinnati at radio station WLW. And so I came off the road and went in for an audition and became the uh, uh, staff vocalist. It's that old devil moon that you stole from the sky. It's that old. I was appearing in Fort Lauderdale. And uh, the agent there called me one day and he said, You want to go to Newport, Rhode Island? And I said, I. Dick Hoekstra was his name. I said, Dick, I don't know anybody in Newport, Rhode Island. And uh, I'm used to packing rooms. You know, I'm, who's going to come see me? And I said, no, I'm going to. He said, well, Saucy, you like challenges. And I said, well, I know I like challenges. So I did. I come in, and, uh, and that's and when I met Mike. So rare. You're like the sparkle. The nightclub show is uh, something that I don't know what I'm going to do till I get there and, and uh, assess the crowd. I look around and then I'll, I'll get a few names and I'll see who's reticent about giving their name. Like sometimes they're reticent for the moment and then an hour later, they're a whole different thing. And by the end of the night, she'll definitely have you singing. If you've never sung a note in your whole life, Saucy will have you singing by the end of the night. People from their early 20s 
people in their 70s and 80s, the crowd in that lounge every weekend is all, always different because there's always a new crowd in the hotel, every, and they all have a good time. She gets them all singing, um, and they all leave with a smile on their face. <laughs> And somebody said to me the other day, you know, why don't you retire? Don't you want to retire? I said, where would everybody go? Where would everybody go if I retired?